Hello everyone. In this quick tutorial, we will focus on redistributing the mesh flow in concave faces using simple model with the same shape but different topologies. When viewing the models in shaded mode, it may be challenging to identify differences between them. To understand their density, check the polygon count. Let's start with the model exhibiting the worst topology, which is a common beginner mistake. This method has added entire loops throughout the model. It's creating a dense mesh with a high polygon count. Moving on to the second model, it has OK but bad topology. To reduce the polygon count, merge down the vertices and extrude to the bottom. However, this method often results in pulls at corners, which can cause issues in certain situations. Finally, let's explore the ideal topology for concave faces. Use the multi-cut tool to create some loops and then remove the original loops. After that, extrude the selected area to the bottom. This approach maintains a better flow of topology and results in a more efficient polygon count. By following this proper topology technique, you can achieve better results in your 3D models. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel Center Pivot for more informative content. Thank you, and happy modeling!